Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we are back here in the wonderful world of the Minecraft International Zoo, and as you can see, I have been extremely busy. I have basically just tried to make sure that we have a nice quality road here, and a good amount of garden space for our house, and I think that this road now looks absolutely incredible. What I'm thinking of doing at this point here is just starting to lower the height of the road. Um, I haven't decided 100%, but I'm thinking that there, here, and then there, like this, could be where the stairs go, and then quite possibly even going one lower than this, because we can always just kind of cut this out of here a little bit from let's say like this for example through here uh, and we're, we're just essentially trying to make it look you know nice and uh, and consistent but we've managed to get ourselves quite a lot of stuff and i've cut down a few of these dark trees with our axe as well and we've got so much dark oak i put it all in our chest pet um who hasn't been named yet we'll sort that out uh, when we do all the naming episode for the uh, the first animal that we're choosing which you can still choose by going to the vote for the first animal uh, one we're going to be leaving that going for a couple more episodes because we still need to spend a bit more time getting the, the sort of main zoo area sorted out um, but you can see that I've now got like just tons of wood and saplings inside the chest pet. So uh, that's pretty good news, I guess. Um, but today, what we're going to try and do is just spend a bit of time making this a, just look a bit more consistent. Let's go with down to here and that's where the road will uh, pick up again. I think that's going to look good. And then that means that we need to take out this here. Uh, anyway, today, what we need to do is, uh, essentially, I, I wanted to put somebody on the uh, Donator Road today, but we can't do that because um, we don't have any glowstone yet. We don't have any access to the nether, and we don't have any glowstone. So what I was thinking would be a good thing to do for today's episode is spend some time doing some mining. Now... Uh, I know that, that people don't. Some people don't like mining episodes, and some people do. It seems to be like it seems to very much depend uh, on the person that's watching. But uh, essentially, what I wanted to do is make this into sort of a, a like a bit of a bumper episode. We're going to go down. We're going to basically we need to find diamonds to be able to do this. Um, once we've got diamonds, we've then got obsidian. And then once we've got obsidian, we've then got a way of getting to the nether. We can take a look at what the nether looks like on this world, uh, and we can carry on from there. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself um, a couple of pickaxes here, a couple of extra ones, iron pickaxes that is, because I know that we're going to need a few of them. Um, I'm just trying to get things kind of, uh, kind of set up here. Let's go ahead and... Just open up chest pet and put all the wood-based stuff in there. Uh, these seeds as well can go in. We've got some gunpowder. We've got loads of extra dirt, as I told you guys before, from excavating all that from stuff from the road. But that all looks pretty good. Um, and we can always go and find some more stuff if we want to as we go. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this with us. Uh, and we'll take the crafting bench as well, just to be safe. Now, uh, for, for mining on this series, we're actually really lucky because we don't actually have to do too much in the way of torch placement, because once we get into a cave, we can just walk through with our torches, and it will actually light the way as we go, as you can see here. Now, there is a creeper like, right there, straight away. Uh, so we're just going to knock him out, because that's like immediately a problem. But as you can see, we can just sort of wander through the darkness with our torch here, um, and just get a chance to sort of take a look around. It looks like we're going to have to put down uh, a piece of dirt here to stop this water flow. Uh, this is a situation where, yeah, it's probably a good idea to put a torch down as well. Um, but I, I, I tell you what is interesting. It's been it's been a very very long time since I've done like any kind of mining, um, which is awesome, and I I really enjoy doing it. So I think this will be really really exciting. I think from this point here, it will be really good to do something like this, where we have 
like a way that we can go this way and a way that we can go that way and have two sort of mine shafts that start going down from this point. Uh, so that means that we would need to take out this here uh, and then kind of just decide where we want to do it. So we can have one that just starts like there and then one that starts there. So we'll go this way first, I guess we may as well. And then we can essentially we can we can take these out as and when as and how we want to. But I think that's going to look good for now for us. Uh, and then we'll take another one, kind of going the other way. But the the other really useful thing as well is the fact that we. I mean, it's obviously it's a it's a diamond adventure today, and we're going to do our best to try to find some diamonds. But uh, we also have luckily got all these interesting kind of like caverns that you can see coming up. So I know that if I go this way. Uh, and then sort of downwards, I should pretty much find a cave almost immediately. So what I'm going to do here, we'll go, we'll do those mine shafts. I'll do, probably do those ones off camera. But seeing as we can see kind of like down into what we're doing here, I'm going to just, to save a bit of time, wander straight down and see if we can spot anything around here. Because uh, I know that there's, I know that there's something around here. Because you can see it on the map. Uh, is that really where the dirt ends? Okay, fine. That's fine. Keep going down. And keep going down where we can every single time. Just uh, just try and do it as smoothly as possible here. There we go. Right. We found the cave. Okay. So, nice and simple. Nice and straightforward. We don't have to worry about doing like loads of procedural mining today. This is why the map is so useful, guys. It means that we can do things like that and just uh, find our way down nicely. Okay, so it seems to be we're going to have to move across a bit, I think, because we need to get on the wall so we can come down a bit slower. We'll probably put in some ladders and stuff as we go later on. Um, but for now, this will be okay. I can just kind of get down slowly but surely like this. Oh, I dropped my sword. That's the worst. Okay, let's go down and get that quickly. Use it to take everybody out. Yeah, Miz standard issue sword. Awesome, awesome stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put some swords down, I think. Makes, makes kind of sense. Oh, God, there's a... Yeah, okay. All right, fine. No, we're okay. Just try not to panic here. Uh, put my sword back in the right place again. We're going to just put some torches up anyway, um, because I kind of feel like it's going to be helpful to have just a few dotted about. Uh, but we don't need to have, like, tons and tons of them uh, to light up the place, because we because having a torch in your hand does, as I showed you before, actually light up the way, which is <laughs> actually going to make this really, really easy. But it's also really interesting to see what's, like, underneath of the zoo, where all the kind of, like, caves and stuff are. Because, obviously, being that we're making a Minecraft International Zoo, not only do we need to do all the owls and the interesting birds from Exotic Pets, and, like, the penguins and the bears and stuff from uh, Mo Creatures, but we also need to make, like, a really awesome bat cave. Uh, for all of the bats in the in the game that we haven't had a chance to uh, say hello to yet, so there's there's like a lot of extra things here. What is this? Is this rose gold? This this new this new material that I've never seen before. Yeah, rose gold ore. Okay. Well, it's good to know we're getting some some new new stuff around here. Got to love some rose gold. There we go. Lovely. And we'll just sort of do bits and pieces like that. But for now, what I want to do is go down as far as I can. I know that currently I'm going up. So it seems a bit weird saying that, but let's just do that. And just, I'm just sort of like lighting up the, the different directions so that we don't kind of get lost or confused or think we haven't been a certain way. Because we came from that way, so we can go down this way and just hope that we manage to find something down here. Essentially what you need to do is find some lava, but this is all you can see exactly on the map that that is just, there's just nothing there, nothing that way at all. But what there is, apparently is some lava over here somewhere so once again we're gonna do what we do best and just go across like this because we have the ability to do that just go straight across and try to find something there's definitely some stuff around here okay oh yeah there we go whoa that scared the hell out of me there's a massive massive cavern here wow this is this is ginormous right okay okay we have a plan now, guys. I need one more piece of iron, which luckily there's a little bit of iron here. Uh, uh, because, And I also need to find the source of that water that we can currently hear. I think it's around here somewhere. 
Um, because what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to get ourselves a bucket so we can make loads of obsidian and also walk along that cavern. Because I think that's going to be the, the easiest way to survive in this weird little area. Yeah, there's definitely some water around here somewhere. It's getting louder. There we go. Right, we found the water. Is that like a massive cave of water or what? Let's find out. May as well check it out. No, it just seems to be like another little part towards like another cavern. Okay, interesting. All right, well, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a furnace down. Um, we'll use the last piece of coal that we had, put the iron ore inside. That can start brewing up for us. And then we'll have to climb up there and hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh, there's an enderman. Oh, God. Let's fight him. Come up. Yeah, got ya. Got ya! Take them their feet, guys. It's like the most important thing. Okay, this looks like it goes nowhere. Which is fine. So that's that. And then this way, then, I guess there might be another another something. Something, something down here. Let's have a look. So that, yeah, that is the part that links up to the other one. So I think this might just be like a second cave, then. Let's just put some torches down as we go. But yeah, it seems to be just another kind of like cave area. Damn it! Okay, that's fine. That doesn't matter because we, we've got the we've got the iron that we need. I can come back and collect as much iron and stuff as I want to off camera because we don't want to do all the really boring bits for you guys today. We want to kind of try and keep it interesting and fresh. So there's all the iron. We'll go ahead and plop down the crafting table on top, and we're going to make ourselves just a a bucket. Don't need to have more. Well, I suppose we could make an infinite water source if we have two. So let's try let's try and get two, um, and then we can just use those to do. What it is that we need to do. Uh, let's go up here then and see if we can get one of these uh, water sources. Whereabouts is it? Is it around here somewhere? You know what? I can't see a goddamn thing. And ow, that really hurt. Oh, God damn it. God damn it, world. Right, let's put one there. There we go. That's better. Okay, it looks like it's just here. But I'm going to double check. Yeah, so written there's an enderman just over there. You can see his eyes shining in the distance. There we go. Let's take this piece. And then we'll just jump across to this water source and grab this one. There we go. What did I do? Why didn't I grab the other one? What happened? That was weird. Okay, let's go back up again and get that one because for some reason it didn't put it in my bucket. It definitely clicked. Maybe I clicked twice by mistake. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Where is it? There it is. Got it. Got the water source. Okay, that's done. Right. Good. So now, when we come back down here, you'll see where the lava is. Uh, and then we can we can leave the, the the resource stuff over there. We don't need that. That's fine. Uh, where was our little uh, connecting cavern bit that we did? Was it around here somewhere? Uh, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter though. We can just we can just make a one that goes straight across anyway. It was I think it's literally just like here, but just like a few steps down. So whatever, we'll just go through again. Oh, my pickaxe, please. There we go. Okay. And we've actually managed to get through this really, really easily. So so a little Minecraft adventure here. See if we can find some diamonds, though, because that's that's going to be the, the most difficult thing. If we, if we can't find any diamonds, then we're going to struggle here. But I think we'll be okay. Let's break through into the cavern. Oh, we're not going to break through into the cavern. Oh, okay. No, we're too high. I think we're too high. Do you guys think? Yep, we're too high. <laughs> so we'll put some water down. What that's going to do is it's going to go all the way down for us and hit the water, make some obsidian. And then we'll just hop on this water as it gets removed. And we are down. There we go. Perfect. Right. Okay. So we're at we're at like diamond height, which is good. Let's have a quick, quick look around over here just to make sure there isn't anything we've missed. No, this all seems to be kind of cut off uh, so let's go ahead and put like a torch just put a torch down sort of as we go and then oh that torch got knocked out that's annoying oh well there we go just put a torch down there and then put one like there that'll do there we go and the next little bit so sadly there doesn't seem to be any diamonds just like straight out in the obvious areas here um, we're gonna have to make some more of these at some point. What I might have to do is is cook some uh, some of that wood that we've got to make some more charcoal, to make some more torches. But again, we can probably do that off camera. Um, 
but at least we know that we have like an unlimited source of obsidian here that we can we can go ahead and utilize. Come on, you can do it, Kath. Okay, that's good. But it seems like this is just nothing, nothing, nothing in the way of diamonds around here anyway. But that's fine. That doesn't matter. We only need how many diamonds do we need? We need? Three diamonds to be able to do what we need to do here. We'll leave that little bit of lava. Let's have a look on this side. So there's some lapis, some rose gold, and that seems to be about it for this area. But that's 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 fine. That's absolutely fine. Because now what we do is we go along and we take a look at the map and we see if there's any connecting caves that we can take a look at. And if not, then what we'll have to do is go and find one, which will be pretty exciting. Um, but I'll tell you what I can do. I can do that off of camera because this has already been a 15-minute episode. Um, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to spend some time just literally... Mining around the area. We'll take all this, these sort of bits of rose gold and gold and stuff. We'll make a, a mine that goes this way. And eventually we will definitely come across some diamonds. I know we will because obviously we could even just do a strip mine. Because as you can see we're coming across ores left, right and centre. So it won't take long for me to find some diamonds. So next episode what we will do is I'll meet you guys back on the surface. And we will go ahead and use the obsidian that I've managed to collect from doing this today to make our very first nether portal and we'll jump through and keep our fingers crossed that we manage to find some super duper easy to grab glowstone supplies and then we can use those to go ahead and start making the lamps and hopefully end tomorrow's episode by adding our very first person onto our uh well, i guess i can call it donator road but it's like our zoo road isn't it it's zoo lane i remember zoo lane there we go i know what i'm talking about but until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. You don't want to miss tomorrow's episode, as I said before, because that's when the first statue goes up. But until then, I've been Kaf of the Kafcast. Thank you very much for watching. We found a new lava depository. Look, you can see there's a, another one just coming up here. Uh, make sure you watch through the outro whilst I sing my outro song, and you might even see us get to this lava before it's too late. So let's take a look, shall we? I'll see you all next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.